So this fly I'm going to do now is a, an intruder and it's my own version, it's been scaled down for our own rivers. Um, it's, it's a mini intruder I suppose, but it's a lot like our own Irish shrimp flies. Really great fly in the water, loads of movement and it can be dressed in, in, in any colour combination that, that you fancy or your own favour. So I have a piece of clear inner tubing and I'm just going to bore one in with the lighter. create a stop. Next I have a piece of outer tubing and I'm just going to cut about five millimeters off the end and slip it down over just so it runs and stops again the board end. And onto that, I'm going to put a small piece of silicone tubing. Just like so, and this, this will be the part that will take our, our hook. So we're going to start off now. This is a, an 8 white trade. We've got the tie on just in front of our medium tube. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to create a dubbing ball just at the back. This is some silver metallic dubbing. Again, we just twisted the former rope. See it? Create our dubbing ball. Next. I'm tying some dyed purple bucktail. Just go a half inch longer than our silicone tube. Just gonna take a couple of turns and then just push it around the tube. Make sure it's spread right the way around, that's pretty good. You can see as we're tying back here, it's forcing the hair to splay out. So next, we're just going to trim up our waist ends. Let's come up our body and back down. I'm going to catch it. At this point there, uh, couple of strands of flesh. This is a mirage flesh. I'm going to catch it underneath. Just double over. So on top of this now we have some this is a dyed magenta Lady Amherst. Just gonna spread this out. Again, slightly longer than our bucktail. Spread it right the way around the tube. Make sure you get it right the way around. It's pretty good. Again, we just tidy up our waist ends. So now for our first hackle, and we're going to use a magenta hen hackle. I'm just going to strip away the fluffy fibers at the base of the hackle. Okay, we're going to double this down, hold it by the tip. Just 
turn it around and we're going to tie this in by the tip like so Set our hacker fibers. So next for our body, we're going to use some. It's a flat braid. It's a silver. I'm going to tie in. Secure it down all the way up. few times just make sure we got everything covered that's good work towards the head so again now we're going to start with a ball of silver metallic double Next we're going to tie in a collar of this is a blue bucktail. Just even up some of these tips. So lengthwise you want them sort of the same length as just maybe the tips of the magenta. Couple of times. So you just spread them all around the shank. Make sure you get a good spread right the way around. That's good. Let's secure off a couple of times. Again, we're making these fibers splay out with the dubbing ball behind. Gonna trim up our waist ends now. And again, some mirage flash. Swan strand double over. Next over the top of our bucktail, we're going to tie some blue Lady Amherst. So, level with the tips are maybe just slightly longer than the bucktail. And we're going to spread these right away around the shank. Make sure we have a good spread. Looks good. Secure it a couple of times. We can trim off our waist ends. Tidy up. Now for our head hackle, we're going to use a blue 
hot cackle. And again, I'm just going to strip away the fluffy fibers at the base. Taking my hackle pliers, double down the fibers. Again, catch this hackle in by the tip. Just clean up the head area with a small blade, you know. Any of the stray fibers, you can just trim them nice and tight. So, we're going to wind up our hack up. Secure with a few turns and just trim off the waist. So next up, we want to have some jungle cock. Strip away some of the fibers at the base. Just tie them on the side. Secure them with a few turns. Again, we can just double over on the stalks just to secure them in place. Same on the near side. Just make sure we're good for length. And that looks good. Again, double back on our stock. I'm just going to Quick finish now just to finish off our head. Oh, double whip finish. Nice and secure. So all that's left to do now is we're just going to add a small cone to the head. I'm going to do that by just adding a small drop of super glue. We'll just push our cone on, just hold it in place for a second. Next, we're just going to trim. We're just going to leave a couple of millimeters just in front of the cone. And just with our lighter, we're going to form a small little burr just at the front. So, there you have it it's the Wilkinson Mini Intruder, a fantastic fly for Irish sandpapers.